Hey guys, okay, so I'm not gonna do a blow by blow of the afternoon. Um, I'll just tell you to start that um, they did the cross examination of Peter Easton, the um, financial flows guy from earlier. And um, there wasn't a ton, but there was one major point, which was um, there was one, so one of the, one of the um, diagrams that he had showed earlier, um, you know, showed like negative amounts for, um, I, so I can't remember how it was phrased on the document, but, um, maybe it was like FTX and Alameda bank, uh, bank accounts or something like that. Or, or, or maybe this was the all the allow negative bank accounts or, sorry, I, I'll have to tell you later when we do the finalized podcast. But the point is that um, basically the cross got out of him, the, the defense got out of him that he had not um, excluded the um, amounts that were in FTX bank accounts that were owed to customers and so that was contributing to the negative balance but then um, at the very end um, they did you know like walking through an example they asked him like you know how were you counting when you were saying this money was coming from Alameda like how were you counting or from customer deposits how were you counting it and they said for instance let's say it's negative 15 bitcoins in Alameda's account and then Alameda um, brings in one Bitcoin from elsewhere and then when you say that there's a 10 BTC payment to a lender are you saying that you know all 10 are coming from customer money even if one BTC was just brought in by Alameda and he was like yeah I'm saying it's coming from customer money and he's like because they're at negative 14 so so anyway so it was like a smallish point I guess but but yeah like there was a, a moment where um, a bunch of us in the overflow room were trying to figure out like oh if he didn't exclude the um, liabilities in FTX bank accounts then what does that mean um, then so here's uh, something interesting that happened so basically then there was this like Google metadata person he his title is Google rewards sorry Google records custodian and um, he just talked about the metadata on like Google Sheets and Google Docs. And then they showed like a couple of different documents by Sam and Caroline. Um, but it was totally not clear like what the purpose of this was. And then even at the end, he admitted that like he um, it gets sent by Google to do these court things, but that he is not himself a metadata expert and all this stuff. So then after this, we had a break and the judge like basically yelled at the pro okay yelled is a strong word he reprimanded the prosecution for being like you brought this woman in by the way her name is Eliora Katz um you brought this woman in she you know had to like he he said that like you know you basically had her be like a mannequin where she had to read all these documents that she said she didn't even have a hand in and um and then you know what what was the whole point of this google thing because like nobody knew at all what the point was of the google thing and i guess maybe the lawyers had had a, like the defense and the prosecution had some disagreement about the metadata on the google documents or something like that and so that's why they had done it but like they didn't draw that out so like even when it was all done like we could not figure out like why this person had been called and apparently he had flown in from texas so the judge was even madder about that he was like you hauled this person up here from texas and like you know and then he basically was like you wasted the jury's time you wasted our time you blah 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 so anyway he was uh yeah he was definitely kind of uh, unhappy um but anyway, so then the lawyers had a bit of a disagreement because um, the uh, infamous Twitter DMs that Sam Bankman fried had with Kelsey Piper of Vox, um, I guess the prosecutor prosecution want to admit those and so the defense like made all these arguments about why they shouldn't be admitted but in the end um we took a break and then when uh we came back from the break judge kaplan told the lawyers that he was going to admit the evidence and so um the so the prosecutor who um like uh, to my mind is just the smoothest is uh, this woman D danielle sassoon and she uh went like pretty quickly through all the ditter different twitter dms where and and uh, there were other like twitter message uh, um sorry tweets and um even like she, she would bring up a tweet and then note whether or not sam had liked it and they were ones where it was like customers saying to sam like in the in the days right before it's collapsed like oh you know thanks for your your comforting words like now i just deposited more money into my ftx account and stuff and um anyway so point is that um you know they through um someone who works i guess for um sdny 
they got him up on the stand, this guy, Corey Gaddis, and he um, basically like read um, a number of the tweets and Twitter DMs with Kelsey Piper and, um, you know, yeah, it was just like getting that on the record, I guess, that SBF said, like, fuck regulators and things like that. Like, the, these are the most infamous tweets. You can look up that Vox article if you don't know what I'm talking about, but, you know, most people probably in crypto do. So anyway, then we ended the day with somebody who um, just did, uh, um, you know, more like an analysis of some of the political donations and where the money had come from. And um, she was an accountant um, for the FBI or, or like, yeah, she, she's a CPA and she works for the FBI, a forensic, forensic accountant. And she, um, just showed like, oh, you know, um, right before a bunch of these different political donations, then the money was deposited into these accounts and the, that money came from Alameda. And, um, there was like one where on cross-examination, they pointed out that like some other amount of money had come in right right before one of the donations and so using the lifo method last in first out then actually it came from that um thing and not from alameda which she conceded um but anyway so it just it just ended with that it wasn't like um anything crazy but yeah we'll have the full recap on the pod later tonight um other frankly in my opinion other than the the um account guy like it was a slightly uneventful day um but yeah i i um i just found his i, I love that kind of thing like looking at the flow of money and whatever. If you, if, if you are into that, you should totally read my book and check all the footnotes and everything. All right. Bye.